musician, author, and playwright Ben Harrison is back with me this morning. Ben is going to have an upcoming performance this weekend at the studios of Key West. Now, if you haven't heard Ben perform before, now is your chance. All of his songs paint a picture. He'll be giving a musical tour at the studios of his early days performing on Duval Street. Ben, it's always a pleasure having you. Thank with you me. very much. <laughs> All right, Ben, what was it like performing on Duval Street back in the day? Well, it was really exciting. Uh, the the 80s and, and 90s were, uh, uh, it was different musically. And the title of the, uh, the concert is No Bull, but uh, that's kind of misleading. Uh, I played at the Bull for nine years and we were full of it. <laughs> but uh, uh, we all played as singles. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, when I first, uh, we had gone up the East Coast in our, our sailboat and we were coming back and I told Helen that's where I wanted to play. And she said, oh, Ben, it was a pretty rough bar back then. It was a mess. Mm -hmm. It was before they cleaned it up and tried <laughs> to make it nice. And all the tables were barrels and the, the uh, uh, chairs were held together with duct tape. <laughs> and, man, we hadn't pulled up to the dock to, until Danny Mulberry comes sauntering up. Ben, you ought to play at the Bull. And I said, yep, we're on. And that was, went on for nine years. So wow. it was, it was a, Wonderful, wonderful place to play. Okay, and you played, you said it was all singles, but there were people that were always joining you though, correct? Different uh, musicians? On occasion, but mm -hmm. generally it was, it was our room, and we mm -hmm. were the focal point of, of the room. The spotlights were on us, there were no televisions. Um, we, and uh, we worked for 15% of the cash register, so we were motivated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if we did a good job, we made money, if we didn't, we didn't. Now, were you performing original songs, Ben? Well, that was the cool thing about it. We could do whatever we wanted to, and it really spurred me to, to write uh, a lot of material, and, and a good deal of my early stuff was written there at the, at the Bull. Where? You had to, when you're entertaining, there are almost two types of songs. There's a, an album-type song that mm -hmm. you enjoy listening to on the radio, but there's uh, um, added dimension to a song that you have to play in a bar. It has to be funny, it has to be interesting, it has to be, it, it has to capture an audience and if you're playing your own music it's got to have something to, to get them. I mean they're not going to hear a, a, a love song and unless they've heard it on the radio before and right. relate to it. Right. Now Ben, any chance of you performing at the Bull again? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I'd love to play at the Bull again. Uh, I'd love to play some on Duval Street. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just changed so much because mm -hmm. Most are, are duos, trios, bands, that sort of thing. There's not that many places that play the single anymore. Okay. Now, this show at the studios, this is actually your fourth show there? Fourth, fourth show. Okay. It's a wonderful venue. Mm -hmm. uh, the sound system's great. The audience is always great. And uh, it's, it's a pleasure, pleasure to play there. I'm, I'm very privileged. I'll be playing the day after Eugene Robinson, the columnist, will be speaking there. They're doing all kinds of things. Okay. And now, who will be joining you? Uh, and this is what's great, is uh, Den Allen, mm -hmm. Woody Allen, and Polly Walterson. And uh, Woody Allen, primarily, and Den to some extent, uh, they both played on my early recordings. In fact, Woody played on virtually every one that were recorded with Danny Simpson. All of the stuff was with Danny Simpson, who will be doing sound at the studios Key West. So it's sort of a big reunion for us. He just flew in this morning from New Hampshire. Okay, how fun then. That, <laughs> yes, that is neat yes. that you guys all get to reunite, reunite and it's great musicians. They all, are all incredible four of musicians. You. Okay, and now the songs that you'll be performing, Ben. Of course, like we said, it's a musical tour of your early days. Are there some of your other like new original songs? Well, uh, a few newer original ones, but uh, we're going to do some of the stuff that I played back then that was in poor taste. And um, <laughs> Mama said she swallowed a watermelon seed, but I think that Daddy knocked her up. And, and, and some, some things that... Uh, That's good. I like that. <laughs> okay. What are you working on currently, Ben, right now? Well, I'm about to finish a book about building a sailboat in Costa Rica, which Cheryl is going to publish for me, which, mm -hmm. um, on absolutely amazing ebooks. So okay. I'm finishing the editing on that, and hopefully we'll get it together. It takes forever, it seems, at the end. Yeah, yeah. And this was a, a real life experience that you had. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. And you were there with your wife, correct? Yes. Okay, I look forward to reading that. I'm sure you, you have guys. Yeah, the same one, 40 years. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. I'm sure you had a lot of experiences and adventures from that. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> but you made it. You yep, survived. Yep, we so. did. And, and we sailed into Key West. Okay. And now you're here, thankfully. Yes. 
you also have a, a recent book that was published, mm -hmm. Charlie Jones. How mm -hmm. is that going? It's going pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, I originally published it as an e-book, thinking that the, the days of hard copy were over, mm -hmm. but they're not. Mm -hmm. And so we just finished, as a matter of fact, here's a, the book in the cover, mm -hmm. which is, has a Letty Nowak. Do you know Letty? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, she just fits one of the characters okay. in the book, so uh, I think she did a, made a good cover. I mean, she's, mm -hmm. it sort of fits. Mm -hmm. with the, and she's an amazing artist as well. Yes, Letty she is. is. It's a novel set in South Texas, so it's, mm -hmm. and a generational novel that uh, sort of follows the characters through sex, money, love, and what's important. Now, Ben, you're from Texas originally. Yes. So is this based on you at all? Or? No, it's not really. A, it's the location mm -hmm. is where I, 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 uh, I wanted uh, a book to be set there, but it's not really about me or, or anyone. It's, it's, uh, I'm not hidden anywhere in these pages. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, everybody should pick up their copy of Charlie Jones. It's available here in It's US. available here, and it's mm -hmm. uh, uh, available at the... Uh, Island City Bookstore. It's available at the Harrison Gallery, and it will be available at the uh, the concert on Saturday uh, okay. at eight o'clock, mm -hmm. March twenty third. Great tickets still available for the concert. Yes, then? they are. All right, we'll get your tickets now, Ben. Thank you for being on. I look forward to reading your newest book that should be out very soon. Sailing down a mountain is what they've talked me into. Um, uh, making it the title. Okay. Because we built a boat up in the mountains and then trucked it down to okay. uh, Punta Arenas where we launched it. Nice title. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben, thank you for being on this morning. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it sincerely. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Much more to come. Stay with me. <laughs>